So you want to make light shine through fingers and stuff. Pretty simply. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to create a very simple subsurface scattering shader. <laughs> That's a lot of S's. Simple subsurface scattering shader. Wow. So we're taking a look at that today. I came up with this pretty simple um, technique. It works pretty well. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't have a lot to it. So let's get started. I'm going to split my window into two by dragging this little triangle off to the right, or you can go up or to the left or whatever. Um, I'm also in Cycles Winter. Make sure you're in Cycles Winter or else you won't have nodes. Well, you have nodes, but it won't be as many. Um, I'm going to change my left-hand side panel from the 3D view to the node editor and get rid of that, pad, that uh, panel right there. I'm going to hit new on my material down here to add a new material, and, and we will just call this material hand. Uh, I'll go ahead and use nodes down here, and now we have nodes to be able to work with. I'm going to go ahead and go to my camera and hit border on so that our, our camera only renders what's inside the border when we go to render viewport chaining right there. I have a very simple scene set up. Let me just uh, let you know real quick. I have this uh, area lamp coming from the bottom with a thousand uh, strength on the white color, and then my background is just uh, somewhere right about there. Was that 58, 58, 58, 58? Yeah. All right. All right, so getting into things, uh, back with our hand shader, there's a couple of things here. I'm going to go ahead and add in a mix shader by going to add shader and then hit mix shader. Just plop that in right there. You can see the hand gets darker. That's because it's pulling from 50% white and 50% solid black, so it gets a little gray. Uh, we'll add in another shader, and this shader will be, of course, subsurface scattering. And we'll hook that up into the bottom half of the shader. You can instantly see that we have a little bit of subsurface scattering. It doesn't look the best, though. It looks kind of gelatinous, like like if you had frosted glass, which looks kind of cool if that's what you're going for. But I'm not going for that for today. So I'll go ahead and hit B to drag both of those and hit G to move them both down so I can uh, have a bit more space up at the top. I'm going to change the color of my subsurface scattering to like a pinkish red, depending on the type of skin tone you're going for here. We have this, this pinker red type of undertone, which kind of gives the feeling of blood and all the nastiness underneath skin. And for our diffuse, I'll change it to a, 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 a some type of skin color here. Just get like a... I got orangey. Yeah, sure. And this is a little too pinky red here all right so that looks pretty good um you could leave this as solid white because what i'm going to do actually let's, yeah, let's do that first let's do this let's do this first we'll leave it as solid white and then down here in the uh radius we'll change this uh we'll change some of the values here so we'll change this to like 0.2 and you can see if we change the different values here we get it we get different colors so if i change this first one to 0.2 you see ooh, 0.2 you see we get like a ooh, let me put this back on one uh, you see we get like a like a teal blue type of thing if I go ahead and change this back to zero and back to one sorry and change this one to zero you see we get a yellow so we have yellow pink and blue here of course uh, and you can change and mess around with a few of these to get a couple of different settings uh, so I'll get a little bit of yellow in there a little bit of uh, purple pink in there I suppose right and then we have uh, something a little bit a little bit better uh, maybe something like that for the color and you can see how we have a little bit better of some subsurface scattering so far, but I can take this even further. We can go ahead and change the scale down to like 0.6-ish or maybe something like that, something similar to that. And then we can go ahead and also add in a input shader, and this will be Fresnel. And we can plug that up right into the top hand side. And you can see how this has a little bit more of a weird effect. You see if I can zoom in here a little bit, you can see without the Fresnel shader, without the Fresnel shader. It's a bit lighter, it's a bit more see-through. You can see down here a little bit more. When I plug the Fresnel shader in, you can see some of that kind of disappears and we're seeing it just a little bit on the edges here. Um, so this is kind of really a choice, but I don't really like to use it for every situ for every situation. I'm thinking for this situation, it's not looking as good. So we'll go ahead and take that back on out. I'll go ahead and at this moment, this is pretty much all you could do. We have a couple other options here that we're able to uh, do for this super simple uh, subsurface scattering. Instead of just plugging this subsurface in by itself, you can see the difference here. This is much more... Like I said, much more, you know, see-through than it should be if you're going for a hand. So I add that with the diffuse. It gets a little bit better. And, of course, we also have one more thing. We can go ahead and add in uh, a translucent shader and then duplicate our mix shader by right-clicking it, uh, left-clicking, sorry, Shift-D, and then we'll just put that right there. And then we'll plug our translucent shader into the bottom half of the other mix shader here. And this translucent will also be similar to the same color as the diffuse. We can just go ahead and drag and drop that in. See, that's a little bit too saturated. So we'll go ahead and just desaturate that a little bit. 
And this is one of those extra steps you could take, but you don't have to. So I'm going to drag the factor down to about point, maybe point two, I suppose. Maybe something like that. Maybe this would be a little bit more saturated, just a little bit. Really, all the, 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 really, this uh, whole process takes place with uh, colors. Is is pretty much what is the the basis of hey, that looks good. You know, the color is really what's going to help determine. Because like if I like I said, if I go really ridiculous with this color, well, let me not do that one. Let's do the diffuse. If I go really ridiculous with this color, you can see. You know just how bad this is going to say this looks like a demon hand now you know but this is a really good way of being able to see um you know how good the subsurface is actually working or not because at the moment you can see we have a little bit of a little bit of lightness here a little bit around the fingers if i were just to plug the diffuse in by itself you can see the complete difference um that this makes and it actually does look much much better you can see um uh just how simple it is to get something uh so so nice and just so much better than regular subsurf or regular diffuse. It's very subtle. It's very, very, very subtle. Like I said, you can do this even simpler. You can just get rid of this other uh, mix shader and that that's translucently translucency. You can just do this. Just I recommend mixing a diffuse with the subsurf and and getting something really subtle or really nice. You know, it's you know either that or this. You know, either one. <laughs> either way, it still uh, it still gets the point across. But I really do love subsurface scattering. It looks great. It looks beautiful. There's a lot of different ways to do it. There's a lot of uh, different techniques. There's a lot of different stuff all over the place. Figured I'd share just a really, really simple one with you guys today rather than just plugging in the subsurf by itself. So I hope this helped you out in any way. If it did, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I modeled this hand really quickly, by the way. I think I might do a modeling tutorial in the future here and there. So uh, hit like and, and let me know down below if you'd like to see a modeling tutorial. Because I know a lot of you guys have been saying you want to see some stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye-bye.